My name is Claudia Witt, I'm a medical doctor and scientist. At the University of Zurich, I serve as a co-director of the Digital Society Initiative. This is where we are at the moment, in the former office of Albert Einstein. And at the Charité Medical School in Berlin, I do some of my digital health studies. And that's why I'm so happy that both institutions signed a cooperation agreement and digital health plays a big role in my life as a scientist, but also as a medical doctor in my clinic for integrative medicine at the University Hospital. Medicine, like our whole society, is undergoing a fundamental shift. It's becoming more and more digital, and especially during the corona pandemic, this movement has really accelerated. And mobile health applications are a big field in medicine. They play an important role. It's a growing field. And this also includes all the apps we are using. So you might have on your smartphone apps where you track your physical activity, your nutrition, and even perhaps objective parameters like your heart rate. And I assume my heart rate is a little bit higher at the moment, and I can even track it, and it is. And we also know that digital health applications can do so much more. I'd like to use the video of the digitalization initiative of uh, Zurich to explain a little bit what the citizens can expect in the future from modern healthcare. After the family breakfast, Grandmother Aline is doing her morning routine. That includes a digital health check. A personalized tool recommends her how to adapt physical activity and nutrition, two things that are important to her because she has diabetes. Her primary care doctor analyzes the data and is supported by artificial intelligence. All aspects of data protection are well regulated in the future. The relevant partners play together and Grandmother Aline feels confident to use the tools. This looks all so easy, so elegant, so well orchestrated. So healthcare might be easier and it might be even easier to scale it, which means more people can have access to good healthcare in the future for lower costs. So we have opportunities within this movement, but we also have challenges. And there is this big area of data privacy, data protection and data ownership. And a lot of issues are really not solved at the moment. So when we download many of those health apps, which are free of charge, but they collect data and some of the app business models are even based on selling data. And I'm pretty sure that not every user is really aware of it. And the other part is really the linking of data. So we have these apps, we have the electronic health records and so on, but how do we get it to the point that the right data is in time at the right place and that we have also the amount of data which we still can oversee. And this means in the future we also have to take a step back and have a more conceptual view how all these developments fit properly together. And last not least, we have really to think about the barriers to digital health care because when we think about digital competency, we include a new aspect here and we have to find solutions that everyone has access to health care in the future too. Healthcare apps are a huge market and it can get really confusing when you go into one of the app stores and it's hard to choose which one is the right one. Are they effective? Are they safe? In medicine, we are usually very strict if it comes to medical devices, if it comes to therapeutics. They always have to show that they are effective and that they are safe. So when now healthcare apps really replace some of the diagnostics or even therapies. Do they also have to show that they work and that they are safe? I say yes, but, and the but means that the framework how we do research in medicine is a very tightly regulated framework. This has been developed over decades. Even small changes take 
many years to get implemented. And then we have on one hand side this very fast moving development and on the other hand side the slow process doing research and this shows that it is really difficult to get the two together. I just want to give an example. I have done research on a mobile health application providing acupressure for menstrual pain. We published the results, it was effective, it was safe and the app was already outdated. And this means we have to find new solutions how to do this research, how to implement these things. And we need really the right balance between innovation and safety of our healthcare. And there are new frameworks on the way and Germany is a good example at the moment because the Digital Supply Act or also called the Digital Health Application Ordinance is a framework where a health app can be introduced into the market and it is even paid by the health insurance companies while it is evaluated. These apps need to be certified and show some preliminary data and then it's really in parallel, the evaluation and the reimbursement and after one year there is a final decision if it will be part of the healthcare. So we need more of these solutions in the future. For better integration, we need for sure more research. And we all know that research has more impact if we do it internationally, if we do it interdisciplinary. And this was also reason for us to sign this collaboration agreement between the University of Zurich and the Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin. And Within this work we are doing, the opportunities and the challenges play an important role. And for the future we need a better balance between the regulations and innovation, but also really weighting the opportunities and risks that are in the field. And Important future topics are to develop more suitable evaluation frameworks, to think about more suitable regulation that is really reflecting the new developments, and we have to think about the barriers to digital healthcare. And for this, we need to train the medical professionals, the next generation, but also the current generation, but also our citizens. And we have also to understand that the interprofessional care team will change because the digital aspects and just thinking about artificial intelligence, about robotics, perhaps in the future, these things are really part on eye level within an interprofessional care team. And these are key developments for the future. And we as universities, we want and we have to contribute to that. For us it fits that this year's Berlin Science Week is digital because it fits nicely together with our topic of interest and we have prepared two contributions here. One of them is an online only workshop and in this online only workshop we will focus on how can digital health contribute to pandemic mitigation and our colleagues from the University of Zurich and the Charité Universitätsmedizin Berlin will really show some of their cutting edge research in this area. And the other is a hybrid panel discussion which hopefully initiates a vivid discussion about health apps, curse or blessing and here we will have panelists representing the science, the healthcare sector, politics, startups, but also the citizens contributing to this topic and I'm really looking forward to see you there.